to cut a four and an eighth inch hole in our hardy plank siding so that we can insert our dryer vent. And to do that, since fiber cement products offer a special challenge to us, we're going to be using a carbide tipped hole saw. This is a, an exchange of blade four and eighth inch carbide tipped hole saw. And this is what we're going to use to drill our hole into the hardy plank. Hardy plank or any fiber cement product is not particularly hard. The problem with it is that it's very soft and very abrasive. So to use a bimetal hole saw, which we used previously to cut through wood and through steel, will not last when used to cut through any fiber cement product. As a matter of fact, if I were to use one of our Razorback M42 hole saws, bimetal hole saws, one cut into a hardy plank or fiber cement board and it's going to be ruined. Using a carbide tipped hole saw, even though it gives us a much rougher finish, we can draw several hundred holes using one single hole saw. So, as before, we're just going to insert our mandrel, and you'll notice that with this particular hole saw, it happens to be deeper than your standard hole saw because it's meant to go through not only your fiber cement siding, but also the substrate which is underneath your uh, sheeting on your house to go right through the entire wall. Okay, so we're going to be doing our cut through the fiber cement siding and through the half inch substrate below this, which is our plywood. Remember, as with any of our hole saws, we want to have a nice, slow, steady um, drilling action. This particular hole saw has extremely large, deep gullets because we're going to be removing a lot of material, and this will assist in the removal of the material. So we'll set our uh, drill point into uh, where we want to start. It's not pretty, but it's fast. Even still, with such a rough, with such a rough three-tip hole saw, we're still getting a nice clean hole. And you'll notice we have gone through both the fiber cement siding and our plywood underneath. We can take our vent, slide the vent right into place, and tack it in place. And of course, talk around it. 